Hello everybody. In this video, we'll present how to define the geometry of a strap model from a DXF file. In strap, there are two options to create model geometry from a DXF. The first option is to display a DXF in the background and to create nodes based on the DXF that we imported. The second option is to load a DXF and to create strap elements, beams, or shell elements from the DXF layers. We'll start with the first option, displaying a DXF in the background. In the geometry module, we'll go to display, DXF drawing, load DXF drawing, and select DXF to load. In our example, we'll load the file called DXF5. In the next window, DXF parameters, the user must specify the DXF drawing units and the DXF drawing origin position in strap. The x-axis in the DXF will be aligned with strap's x1 axis and the y-axis in the DXF will be aligned with strap's x2 axis. We can check the option Use Original DXF Colors to load the file with the layer's colors. And we can choose if to display text. At the bottom of the window, we can see all the layers in the DXF, and the user can select if to load the layer or not. Clicking the Load Layer column will toggle between Yes to load the layer or No not to load the layer. Now, when we define nodes and the option DXF points is checked, we snap to the DXF line ends to define nodes. In our example, we'll use another option called line center, which allows the user to create a node at the line center. We'll select two points to define a line and we can see a node that was created at the line center. This option allows us to easily define nodes at the column's center of gravity. For the wall section, we'll define four nodes at the corner of the wall section. Now, We'll present how to define the wall section with beam elements. Let's define four beams in the center of each segment of the wall section. Then we'll go to walls section, select an undefined section, and click create section from beams. Select the beams we defined earlier. Define the wall segment thickness and the material. We can see the wall section we created from the beams we defined earlier on. We can also see that the beams doesn't exist in the model since they were used to define the wall section. Now Let's move to the second option. We'll create strap elements, beams, or shell elements from the DXF layers. The DXF we'll use is a 3D truss structure. The drawing contains three relevant layers. The first layer, named bot. The second layer, named top and the third layer named web. In the models tab in strap, go to DXF, create a new model from a DXF file. Enter our model name and select a DXF file. The next window, layer assignment, will allow us to assign DXF layer to strap elements, such as beam or shell elements, 
or to select not to use a specific layer in the DXF. On the left column, we can see all the layers in the DXF. And on the right column, we can see strap elements that will be created based on the DXF layer. In our case, the layers bot, top, and web will be assigned to strap beams. The next window, DXF import options, the user must enter the length units of the DXF drawings and the length units for the strap model. Also in this window, the user can assign strap properties. If the first option is selected, same for all elements, all of the elements in the model will have the same property. The second option will assign strap properties based on the DXF layers. The third option will assign strap properties based on the DXF colors. The last option in this window, if checked, will create nodes at line intersections. In our example, we'll select to assign strap properties according to colors in the DXF file and we'll check the option to create additional nodes at line intersections. In the next window, we can see all of the DXF colors and the property numbers that will be assigned to each color. Clicking OK will create a 3D model. Let's display an isometric view and property by color. All that's left to finish the geometry definition is to define restraints and properties. In the next example, we'll create a mesh of shell elements from a DXF file. The cut drawing consists of a grid of lines. The layer name is Mesh Strap. From the Models tab, we'll go to DXF, create a new model from a DXF file. Name our model. And select the DXF. We can see two layers in the DXF. We'll select the layer O and click Do Not Use. And the layer Mesh Strap will be assigned to shell elements. The drawing units are centimeters and strap length units will be meters. We have only one layer in this example, so we'll assign the same property to all of our elements. And we'll create nodes at intersecting line. After clicking OK, we can see the shell elements we created based on the DXF lines. Now, let's see another example. By using AutoCAD and Strap features, we can easily create a model geometry of curved structures. On the screen, we can see a curved roof section that consists of three arcs. Each arc has a different radius. If the user wish to model the presented roof in strap, these arcs must be divided to small straight lines. Let's see how we create a model based on the DXF drawing. In AutoCAD, we can divide a line to segments with the divide command. Before we go into divide, we'll set the display of the dividing points. Select format, point style. We'll select an X display and set the size to absolute value. Now let's divide the segments. Go to draw, point and divide. Select the first arc and enter 50 segments. Re-enter the divide command and select the second arc and enter 20 segments. 
re-enter the divide command once again and select the third arc and we'll enter 18 segments. Now we'll define straight lines between the dividing points. The layer we'll use called straight lines. Now, let's go to Strap and create our model. Go to DXF, create a new model from a DXF file, enter a name, and we'll select the DXF Arc Roof. We can see all the layers in the DXF. We are only interested in the layer straight lines that will be assigned to beams. We leave the default settings in the window DXF import options. We can see that we created a model with a relative complex geometry by using strap and AutoCAD features. Let's define property number one which is assigned to our beams. We'll select HEB 180. Let's display a render view and we can see the model we created. This technique can be used for any structure geometry that consists of arcs or curves. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.